So I just want to take a second and uh, I know we do a lot of talking about how to wash stuff, what kind of uh, equipment you need, how to set stuff up, uh, how to do roof wash, how to do a house wash. Today, I'm going to show you guys kind of some of the gear that I'm using, some of the stuff that I think is essential. It doesn't matter what kind of brand you're wearing or, uh, or using. What matters is that, you know, some of this stuff will really make your day a lot better. Uh, it'll keep you cool. Uh, some stuff will keep you dry. And uh, I've kind of, I've tested a few different things now and kind of what I'm working with here uh, seems to last the longest and kind of puts up to the beating, uh, beating that I put it through. So let's start here at the feet. So this is my first season uh, using these. I've only had these uh, uh, a couple, let's see, maybe a month, month and a half, and they're already pretty dinged up. Um, you know, the shingles will take a beating on some of this I'm neoprene. I'm not even sure what you would call that, like this mesh area. And then I was uh, on a pretty steep route today. I was doing some sliding around um, on my on my butt and stuff, and trying not to be on my feet. Um, it's getting some scuffs, but it's holding up really good. So these are Huck. Um, there are a lot of different brands out there that um, you know have this waterproof type shoe. It's also got a good uh, tread on it. It's really uh, really sticky when you're on like wet decks and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty good on the roofs. The only thing I'll say about these, actually they are good on the roofs, but you want to be careful on a steep pitch. And I don't mean like, I mean a, a steep pitch that's still walkable. Um, because you're not lacing in and because you're not getting any uh, tightness around your ankles, when you're up on a steep roof and you're trying to like do a steep grade, um, you don't have a lot of ankle support. On basically your average roof, they're great. The, even on the steep roof, I mean, these grab. Um, it's just you don't have the ankle and your feet kind of slide around a little bit. You don't have the ankle support. These have been awesome so far. Um, I was wearing hiking boots uh, last year and the beginning of this year. Hiking boots were great. I really enjoyed wearing the Merrells. Um, or no, I'm sorry. They were Adidas. They were like Adidas hiking boots. They were great on the roofs, but they wore out really quick. And they were, they say they were waterproof. They weren't. This is, um, I'm sure the chlorine, the bleach had something to do with that. I probably wore down that waterproofing layer pretty quick this is just all like a rubber um it's completely sealed it's not separated from the sole it doesn't seem like so really happy with these all the way around for washing and on the roofs the only thing i don't like about them again is the um the, the lack of ankle support but 99 percent of the time they're great the second thing we got here are these pants so i was going through pants left and right i was trying to figure out you know what was comfortable to wear what was going to be durable I was wearing, um, I think they were Carhartt. Um, they were kind of like Carhartt Flex work pants. They had some poly in them, which is why I got them. I, I you know, you're coming up to a, uh, a customer's house to give a quote, you know, have a bleach discussion if they want to, and, and you don't want to have stained clothing. Um, the Carhartt stuff was pretty good because of the poly in it, but they weren't 100%. So there was, still was some fading. Um, it took a while to really set in. You had to really kind of bathe in it. But again, you know, wearing them every day, every week, you, we definitely did uh, get a lot of that fading. So I, I wasn't a huge fan of that. And also the material was a little thin. What these pants are is true work. I don't know if I saw these on like an ad somewhere online or if someone recommended these. Um, they're not sold in any stores around me. I had to go online to their website. Uh, these things are actually pretty awesome. So these are fully um, synthetic, I guess. I'd, I'd have to look at the tag. I don't want to say poly because I don't know 100% if, if, if it is, but it's definitely a non-standing material. So I, these haven't been washed since today. This is like a residue from the chlorine, but I've been wearing these for uh, probably a month now, and there's no actual bleach stains. I mean, that is pretty black. So there's some cargo pockets on the side, some zipper pockets. There's a cargo pocket here. Um, they're getting beat up, but I wear these every single day for everything I do. The other nice pro, um, pro to these pants is that they're waterproof. Um, I'll, I'm going to say water resistant because sometimes, you know, if you're pressure washing like a, a hard surface, like uh, and it's right at your feet, something that you can't really stand away from or use a uh, surface cleaner on, and you really got some spray. Um, 
you know you'll feel a little dampness but if you're doing a normal wash if you're sitting down taking a break in the morning on a rock or something like that and it's dewy it you're they're really nice they keep you dry all day long and if you do get wet on the outside if you get sprayed with a hose something like that they dry pretty quick so i'm, I'm a huge fan of these um over here i don't actually have them they're in the truck but muck boots um muck boots basically or any kind of boot that you know the goal not quite knee high but just about up there they're really great for uh, doing hard surface pressure washing stuff because it uh you know you'll get a lot of water going down into your boot if you're getting if you're getting blasted so moving on to the the upper layer here these shirts they this uh this shirt is you know my company shirt logo on and everything um this is was made by custom ink uh went on their website uh picked you know the problem with these shirt websites is that if you want a good quality shirt they're expensive and after you get the printing you know you want your company logo and your number and stuff on them they also usually have minimums so you got to get not only is your shirt like 100 bucks or 50 bucks to make but they make you get 12 or 26 or whatever it may be um depending on the material custom ink has some really good options this was kind of like a middle of the road i wasn't you know i'm the only employee and i you know I, I gave my wife a shirt and you know a couple family members and friends shirts but like i don't need 12 shirts um i think they i think i got six was the minimum that i could get with these which was fine i got a couple extras and i just beat into them until you know i got to put on a, a a new shirt um but these are relatively cheap they're really easy to design again that's custom ink um but this is a good like mix so i think this is like radon polyester um and a few other synthetic stuff uh this doesn't get washed every day i only wash uh i only wash this stuff once a week at the end of every week it goes in the washer and dryer so this is already three days on it this week and no stains got some dirt and some grime and stuff um is i just don't believe in you know wasting the water to wash this stuff every night when i'm just going right back to it tomorrow so but these are these are nice you really want to have something that's going to have some uv protection um i like the dark stuff i think like the dark kind of uniform looks good um but dark stuff you know it, it can detract a little heat but it's also really good with uv protection and that is kind of the most important thing about this yeah you want to stick with the poly theme so you're not getting staining like that's a carhartt hat we'll talk about that in a second that's part poly um and it's actually kind of similar to the color of the old pants i was wearing from carhartt so I have a feeling that 100% of this hat has been hit with chlorine at one point or the other, but you see that only like portions of it are staining. Like you don't want to be walking around with, with stains. So this stuff doesn't stain poly, dark UV protection. Um, I like long sleeve because I don't want, um, I don't want like SH, you know, if you're on a windy day or something like that and it's kind of blowing around, I don't like SH on my skin, um, more than it needs to be. So I like the long sleeve. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me if it's, uh, 60 degrees out or 600 degrees out i'm usually in this long sleeve shirt and those pants so this hat i've actually only been wearing like a, a week or two um this thing's been awesome uh i saw this when i was in actually looking for these pants at a local safety supply place um to see if they had some good work pants uh i bought this because of the heat and keeping like the sun off of your head and off your face and off your neck when you're outside all day um, i like to wear a ball cap a lot like the trucker hats and stuff but they don't really cover your neck and they got that mesh um so you know they let in a little light they let in some some sh um the inside of this hat has no staining really a little bit here can't really get to it. a little bit here but if you look at how heavy this is stained um you know this is from being under gutters while they're dwelling and doing something else um roof lines dripping with no gutters and you're trying to rinse vegetation uh you know it gets it gets stuff on it but it keeps your head protected it's not getting into your hairline and, and stuff like that which is really nice this also blocks the uh the the sun uh and you know if it's cloudy in the morning and it's cool and i want to wear my ball cap i'll wear my ball cap for a while and then once i really start feeling that heat on my neck and stuff like that i'll go put this on and instantly it's like a 10 degrees difference it just blocks all that out this also is really good at keeping sh off your face if you're trying to hit something um you know and it's blasting back at you sometimes you know we've been having a lot of windy days lately and uh some stormy days i don't like to reschedule because of that stuff so i'll wash in between you know a rain shower and, and whatever else is going on but 
lately we've been having some days where the SH has really been kind of blowing back at you when you're trying to wash. And uh, this has been great for kind of just keeping it off your face and everything like that. Um, another great thing are nice sunglasses, safety glasses, whatever you want to wear. Uh, keep the SH out of your eyes. And again, you're in the sun all day. Hopefully if the weather's nice by you, uh, you want to be protected. Next is gloves. No matter what I'm doing, whether it's uh, a house wash, a roof wash, or just doing uh, a gutter clean, I always double layer. Um, I really have been digging these hardy, and again, like the brand doesn't matter. I get a, I usually get a different brand every time, like whatever is in stock. Um, these just happen to be hardy industrial use, and I have found that the seven mil thickness is by far my favorite. Um, and I've kind of been slowly moving up. I don't know if I'm gonna move away from these. I don't know how high they go. I wouldn't mind trying something a little thicker, but like the seven mil is awesome. And the reason for that, really the only reason for that is dur uh, durability. So as you can see, these are also kind of like throwaway gloves. These are just nice work, uh, you know, dipped hand and, and finger gloves with uh, just kind of a mesh airy uh, top. These are pretty cheap. You get like a pack of, I think, 20 pairs. Um, and again, I grab a different brand kind of every time. I can't, I think this is Grease Monkey. They're really good, but I would take, you know, any, anything of this style. Um, these I work until the fingers are blown out. So I don't really care too much about this stuff. Um, once you start losing in here and on the fingers, your gloves underneath will tear. So I also wear these repeatedly so i will wear these i will pull these on and off my hand uh multiple times throughout the day sometimes even throughout the week um until these fingers pop eventually they'll blow um and a lot of times it has to do with these and that's when i'll replace something i get a lot of life out of these gloves i get a lot of life out of these um the, the, these nitro gloves uh they're great though they keep the sh off your hands all day they keep you dry they keep your hands out of that disgusting water that you know you're finding in gutters that haven't been cleaned out in a decade um i really like both i like the combination of both um the seven mil and these gloves they'll, they'll go a long way you can really put some abuse to them um last but not least is hydration last year i kind of got myself into a pickle i was working nights and then getting out and going to working all day doing you know the soft wash stuff and i one day i had just come off the night shift got out went out my truck a few hours later it was 2 3 p.m and it was hot it was hot and uh i had been working i don't think that i was i know that i wasn't uh hydrating enough i was doing some ladder work and i was getting like tangles in my body and i, I was talking to myself in my head i said i think you are about to have a heat stroke so climbed on the ladder went in the woods just sat under a tree for a little bit cooled off and uh i, I didn't really have the right hydration stuff on me I, I wasn't carrying much at the time um just figured i would stop in between jobs if i needed to uh hence me putting the water jug on the truck that's been great and i also been carrying around this uh this one gallon jug but we got some electrolyte and some uh some thirst quencher powder this goes into like a five gallon jug this stuff is pretty cheap i mean depending on where you get it but uh i i started getting like a, the onset of like heat stroke it felt like or like a whatever you want to call it a heat uh just overheating and never happened again because i always had plenty of stuff cases of water in the truck you always think that you have enough you always think that you have enough until you run out and then you realize that you should have had more so uh, let's also talk about this respirator here. Really, uh, if you're not wearing a respirator, I, I don't know why you wouldn't be. Not only is it good to keep the vapors of uh, the SH off you, out of your lungs. Uh, again, it, it does blow around. It mists. It, it'll come back at you. Um, you really don't want to be bringing in, breathing in water all day either. So even if you just weren't spraying SH, but you're just around like the water and the mist all day long, I mean... That alone is enough to to get one of these. This happens to be 3M. Uh, they were. This is my second one, so I, I blew through one last year. Not the, the respirator part, or I guess these are the respirators, but the face mask part was fine. But these straps, um, there was actually a hand me down. I had started my business like right before COVID started, and I didn't know about you know using a respirator yet. I was just kind of wearing uh, you know like a like a COVID face mask. <laughs> um just to kind of keep it off my face and a, i couldn't find these you couldn't you know once COVID started you couldn't find it 
So a buddy of mine who was a painter, he had just switched jobs. He gave me his face piece and I used his for a while. So it was a hand-me-down and it, it just didn't last that long. But I bought this one this year, um, went to all the hardware stores, couldn't find one, but uh, even in Lowe's and Home Depot, you couldn't find it, but on the websites. I got this, I believe from Lowe's. These, uh, you really just want to find one that like fits your face well. Um, they're kind of, you know, they're important. It's, 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 it's work safety. The size matters. You want to get a good seal. And, you know, I obviously am not great at that because I, I have a beard and I usually let it go uh, a little too long. And like that kind of stuff like screws up your seal. So you got to like wear it really tight to your face. Um, but it's important to have the right seal, whether, you know, you, whether you have like facial hair or not, the seal matters. You can't just really just buy one and like hope it fits. It's not a one size fits all. Um, unless, you know, you're, unless you just want to, keep 90% of the stuff out. The other thing that's really important, not only like the size um, and having a good seal is the cartridge. So these come with, um, I don't know what the number is, but they're just like a white, um, they're a, a white cap uh, respirator. Let's see if I can do this here. So these pop off, so these are interchangeable for different, uh, these pop off for different situations that you might have or different stuff you're working with this is for chemical vapors so these are pretty beat up so i can't see the number anymore this like, this is a 3m i think it's i don't know i can't i can't really see what these p100 um but i'm sure if you just googled like pink respirator pink 3m um these are for chemical vapors and what you don't want is the ones that come with these are the ones that you're going to find more commonly in hardware stores or like the white ones which are for i believe like organic or construction material uh you don't want those because they're not going to really have um i can't pop these off but you can you can pop these off if i had like a flathead they're on there pretty good but you can uh you can change these out i believe or and I think you can change the filters on these, or maybe you just have to replace the heads. On the ones that I was using when I first started, they were all uh, the white pads. They were just for painting. I got them from a painter. And again, you know, you learn and you move on. Um, uh, you could change the pads out. So I don't know about that, but uh, that's about it. You want to have important gear. You want to have uh, the right stuff. You're in it all day long. You're working with caustic chemicals uh vapors it's not just you know go out and, and have the right hoses and the wands and and make sure that you got like the nicest equipment it's you want to have like the safety stuff you want to have your work here you want to be comfortable you don't want to have wet feet all day and wet legs and a wet ass and and have sh all over your arms and be in the sun getting sunburnt and you will get you will get chemical burns on your hand even just filling if you're messing around with chlorine or you're trying to fix a fitting um and that stuff gets on you especially if you got like a roof mix in there it'll it'll irritate your skin so you want to just protect yourself so i hope that's helpful like i said i mean when i started i wasn't wearing that i wasn't wearing those i didn't have a hat you know, i wasn't wearing the right respirator or gloves you might be sitting here especially if you've been in the business for a little bit i'm sure you know longer than me you're like oh that's kind of simple but for the guys that are starting out you know you don't know until you know and this stuff is pretty simple you know pants and a shirt and some gloves you can find it at any store you got to get the right stuff waterproof was great you want to have the uv and you know the gloves hydration you really don't know until you know and i didn't know for a while and it almost cost me maybe a hospital trip if i had like really got my temperature up and i didn't you know realize it and cool down um that's that you know it's pretty pretty simple